David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In today's lesson, we're going to finish up our module on how to automatically scan the market for trade ideas using the Pro Real Time Charting Package with a look at how to create your own custom scans based on any parameters that you would like. So let's get started. Okay, so for this lesson, I'm going to assume that everyone has watched the previous lessons on uh, how to add indicators to the chart and how to design custom alerts in the Pro Real Time software, as many of the skills that we learned in those lessons are going to be used in this lesson as well. If you haven't seen those lessons, then you can see the entire Pro Real Time course for free in the free course section over at Inform Trades. So the first thing that we're going to want to do here is bring up the time frame charts that we're going to be using in our screen. So for this particular screen, we're going to be using the daily time frame and the weekly time frame. And then once we've done that, uh, we're going to want to add the indicators that we're going to be using in the screen. And on this screen, I'm using the 200 period moving average, which you, which you can see here in blue, uh, the 50 period moving average, which you can see here in red, and the 20 period moving average which you can see here in green um, what I'm going to be looking for is for a bearish alignment of those moving averages meaning that the 200 is above the 50 and the 50 is above the 20 okay the second uh, indicator that I'm going to be using is the RSI on a weekly time frame and the condition that I'm going to set here is that the RSI is not in an oversold position okay so maybe some room to the downside uh, by following the downtrend and some of the results that may come back here okay and then the third condition I'm going to use is volume which we'll discuss as we go through setting up the screen so once we've got the indicators added to the chart then I want to go to display pro screener which is going to bring up the pro screener uh, software window and you can see they have some ones that some default ones that have already been designed here but we're gonna do our own so I want to click set pro screener and then I want to click new pro screener and it comes up initially in the creation by programming so for those of you who know how to program you can write your own code here in the pro real time package but for most people and what's really neat about this particular package is it has assisted creation which allows you to create these screens without any programming so uh, the, f the first thing I'm going to do here is name the screen, so I'm going to call this Bearish SMA, okay, for Bearish Simple Moving Averages. And then the second thing I want to do here is set the conditions, so I'm going to click the Set Condition button there. And then as you can see in the uh, condition window that appears, it tells me to click on the specific section of the chart window to set the condition on the indicator, the price, or whatever I want to set it on. So I'm going to click on the moving averages here, and you can see here it brings up uh, the screener creation window with uh, moving average 1 defaulted. And uh, I set the moving averages, I did the 200 period moving average first. The 50 period moving average I added to the chart second, and the 20 period moving average I added to the chart third. So moving average one, the 200 period moving average, I want to say that's greater than moving average two, okay? And that, so that's uh, the 200 period is greater than the 50 period. And then I want to click add condition again. I'm going to click on the moving averages again, and for the second condition I want to say moving average 2, which is the 50 period moving average, is greater than moving average 3. Okay, And then the next condition I want to add is going to be the RSI. I want that on the weekly chart, which I have here. I'm going to click there in the RSI window, and I want to say RSI is greater than a value of 30 which is the oversold level that most people use for the RSI okay and then once I've done that I want to click OK and then the next criteria that it asked me for is the sorting criteria uh, the pro real uh, pro screener will come back with up to 30 results so you can sort by whatever you want there so I'm going to click that uh, button and then I want to sort this by volume so I'm going to click on indicator to be selected here 
and then I'm going to click on the volume and the daily uh, chart okay which brings that up and then I'm going to click OK here okay and then once I've done that I can click OK for the generation of the code and it tells me that it gives me an, a warning telling me that I have two different time frames included in the screen which is fine that's what I want the weekly and the daily and I'm going to click OK there. Once I've done that, it's going to bring up the code which has automatically been generated here. And it's going to allow me to select what uh, market that I want to run this on. And I'm going to say NASDAQ all here. And then I can add some notes in here to you know tell me what this is if I want. Um, I'm just going to leave that blank for now for time saving purposes. And then I want to click once I'm ready, validate program. And then once I've done that, the Pro Screener is going to come back with the results. And as you can see here, they're sorted from uh, largest volume to smallest volume. So let me just click on the first one here, which is the Qs. And as you can see here, I have the moving averages are in a bearish alignment position. And the RSI is just barely above 30 there. It's 30.192 okay so it's brought back the results there and I can go through the list that now and look for potential trading opportunities uh, based on this screen okay uh, so that's our lesson for today as always if there's any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and good luck with your trading